He plays with a very good pad level off the ball. He's very smooth out of his cuts. And there it is, his exceptional ball skills, the ability to you know, extend and, and catch the ball off his body. And he has excellent body control to stay in bounds. These are some things that speed is one thing, but there's so many other things that go into being a great receiver. What's up, Browns fans? Nathan Zagura here for another edition of the Browns Breakdowns. And today we're going to go in the film room and look at wide receiver David Bell, the 99th pick in the 2022 NFL Draft out of Purdue. And we're joined by a very special guest, the wide receiver coach and pass game coordinator of your Cleveland Browns, Chad O'Shea. And coach, we're going to take a look at some college stuff, some of the things he's done here in the offseason. But let's just start top level. Why were you excited to get David Bell here? And what has he shown you since he's been here? Yeah, so obviously we identified a lot of traits physically that we liked in David as a receiver. Um, and then as, as we knew about him, because we did a lot of research on him, there were so many things off the field that we liked about his character traits and some things that he would bring to the table for us at the Cleveland Browns. But I think that it all goes back to what is it on film and what are the things on film that you like. And one of the things right here that I'll take you through on film is his run after catch. You know, he had the ability to take the ball in his hands, as you can see right here, this is versus UConn, and be productive with the ball in his hands. So we always say, hey, the job of a receiver is to get open, catch the ball, and we would like to obviously be productive. Once we have the ball in our hands, he has the ability to make defenders miss in space, okay, and the ability to find the end zone. An instinctive runner with the ball in his hands, and one of which produced. Yeah, when you like to see that vision and the ability to make, as you said, those guys miss it. A lot of people talk about speed, and we're going to see in this clip, he ran away from a couple of people, and we'll talk about the next clip as well, where we see him get vertical over the top. But it feels like one of those guys, the play speed's faster than the time Yeah, speed. and I think you make a great point. He's got great play vision, uh, field vision. He's got the ability to create yards despite not being the fastest guy in the draft. So you can see right here, making a lot of guys miss in space, being productive, because that ultimately is what you need to do with the ball in your hands is find the end zone, and he did it right there. All right, one of the things we also focused on, his unbelievable hands, and this is just a simple kind of a go route, but the catch here is pretty spectacular. Yeah, a couple things even prior to the catch that we liked is we thought he was very good at the line of scrimmage with his release ability that you can see right here where he attacks the defender, he sets him up, an instinctive player, and then Hit one of his greatest traits is what you just said, his ability to catch the ball. It all starts with, without catching, you have nothing. We saw him as one of the best players in the draft in regards to his ball skills. And he did it in a lot of contested areas or where he was closely matched at the top of the route, which you can see right here. That's a difficult catch. He has a defender that's closely matching him, that's trailing him in man coverage, and he has the ability to make those plays and show his great ball skills. So that's why you wanted to get him here. And now you've gotten the opportunity to get him here through the OTAs, through the mandatory minicamp. And look at you're even in the shot right here, giving him some coaching. We love to see that. But what have you seen from David Bell now that he's a Cleveland Brown in the Brown? Yeah, this is the fun part, right? We got him here. He's on our grass. He's on our field. And now, now the fun begins where we get to train him within our system to utilize our techniques that we're asking the guys. And, and this is where... You know, we get on the grass and we can really make a lot of progress and improvement. So you can see right here, David, and, and we're really trying to coach him on the, the finer details of the route. But I thought this was a good example of just showing how he plays with a very good pad level off the ball. He's very smooth out of his cuts. And there it is, his exceptional ball skills, the ability to, you know, extend and, and catch the ball off his body. And he has excellent body control, which you can see right here, excellent body control to stay in bounds. These are some things that, you know, speed is one thing, but there's so many other things that go into being a great receiver. It's body control, it's ability to understand where you are on the field, to have sideline awareness. All those things are critical in the development of a young wide receiver. And certainly he has a lot of those things that we're able to work with. You can see him right here. Here's a really good practice rep. So the one thing that we liked about David is his position flexibility with the possibility of him working both outside and inside on working inside on some of these choice type routes that we ask our guys to do. So here's an example of our practice that we had at the Pro Football Hall of Fame. We got an opportunity to go down there. It was a great experience. But here he is down here at the bottom working an option route. So great option route runners, all right, 
have to be instinctive. They have to understand the defense. They have to have great awareness. And that's one of the things that in looking at David on film that we identified that he would be able to do for us. And he's certainly, there's been a lot of positive things that he's done for us, both outside and inside. But here it is, the ability, like as you said, to set up a defender, to win, to separate in space. But he's doing that not with exceptional speed right here, but he's doing it by having route running savvy, by being an instinctive player of understanding the look that's in front of him. And he, there it is with a good catch and good fundamentals right there. And, and again, a lot of positive things about David, but his route running ability and his flexibility to be inside, outside, and move him around the formation is something that really excites us. So on that route right there, is he reading the leverage? So when the corner kind of had his inside shoulder down more, he's going to break that outside? Yeah, so he's reading the leverage, and he's doing an outstanding job of reading the leverage of the defender. And, and I think, again, that's something that's one of his strong points that he brings to the table for us is his ability just to understand defenses and have great awareness. Coach, thank you so much for the time. When you have people coming out to training camp to get their eyes on David Belt for the first time, what do you want them to be paying attention to that will say, all right, this guy's on the right path? Yeah, I, I think that we all go back to this simple. Get open, catch the ball, right? Compete in the run game. Do something with the ball in your hands after the catch. And those are the things that we're going to evaluate him on. It's a simple formula for us. And if he's able to do that consistently, he's going to have a lot of value for our offense. We don't have any specific place for him right now. We're gonna keep moving him around to see where his value is best for the Cleveland sure. Browns. And I think that that's a good thing for him because the more you can do, you're gonna increase your value for the team. So I think it's, you're gonna look out there and see him in multiple spots and, and see him what he can do to help our team. Coach O'Shea, thank you very much for the time. And thanks you to all of you for joining us for another edition of the Browns Breakdowns, looking at wide receiver David Bell.